Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In the next few SharpBite tutorials we'll be taking a closer look at the drag and drop functions contained in Lightworks. This functionality was added in the changes between version 10 and version 11 releases. Drag and drop is a great way to quickly assemble your edit and modify it without necessarily using traditional edit techniques. In my content manager up here I've got the shots that comprise the dialogue scene available as a download from the website. I've already pre-marked my clips. It's not necessary, but it's useful to speed up the assembly. You can mark the clips directly in Tiles view. Just press I for the endpoint. Or of course you can always open this to a viewer to do it in a larger window. We'll be going from the bin directly to the timeline or from the bin directly to the edit viewer. These are the possible drag and drop destinations. Additionally, there's a third way, and you can go from the timeline back to the bin. Let's assemble a few shots quickly. First of all, let's go from the bin to the timeline. Drag and drop. The next shot, I'm going to place right down at the end. Next, let's go from the bin straight into the edit viewer. Before I release, we have to be careful that the timeline position indicator is at the correct place where we want the clip to start. In our case, I'm going to drag that right down to the end of the edit. And then drag and drop from the bin to the edit viewer. Notice when the shot's added to the timeline, the red position indicator has moved to the end of the shot. Let's add a couple more using that method. Now, if I take a clip from the bin and go straight to the timeline, we can see the segment in question. Note, the magnetic snap will snap to cut points as you drag along the timeline. By default, from the bin to the timeline, the edit mode is replace or overwrite. Let's drop this clip as a replace edit just over this section here. And that's the rough order of clips. I've also got a handful of cutaways here. I'd like to drop them in as well. On the timeline, I'm going to add two more video tracks. Right click, choose add tracks. Two V-Tracks add. The additional tracks have now appeared. Dragging and dropping the cutaway in. Notice you can snap to tracks vertically as well as move horizontally. And again the choice is to use insert or replace. To rearrange the position of these shots on the timeline, I can rearrange the shots in any order I wish, just like working with pieces of film. Continuing to work on the timeline, you can also change the segment positions on the V tracks or the A tracks. If I click, drag and drop this clip, I can now change the V track. and the audio would respond in the same way if we had more A tracks. Let's add a couple more. So now I'm going to take my soundtrack and drop it in down to the bottom on A3 and A4. This section here is of interest to me. I'd like to make a sub-edit so I can try out some different things on the edit. To make a sub-edit, mark and park a region of your timeline. I'm going to drag and drop this to the bin using my control modifier. And if we have a look at this timeline from the edit we've just created, you can see that our section 
been duplicated from our master. We'll cover these techniques in more detail in the following few tutorials. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.